It's Taylor from Dame Gala Mode, and today I'm here with a new featured collection for Autumn with all of this jewelry that you see right here. This collection is all about the rich colors of this season with some wonderful sparkle, some rich deep tones, and some pieces that feel right at home as our weather here gets a little bit cooler. At the time that I'm filming this video, all of these pieces are available and they're on my website at damesalamode.com, which I'll link to down below. But do keep in mind that many of these pieces are limited and they may sell out, so I can't make any promises when you're watching this. But at the time it's going online, all these pieces are available. As always, my Patreon supporters get first crack at all of my special collections. So if you're interested in joining my Patreon for future releases, you can find that information in the description below. Okay, let's take a closer look at these pieces, shall we? So the first thing that I want to share is this new release of collet necklaces. Ooh, so sparkly. So these collets are stones called Aurora Crystals. And in case you missed this announcement earlier in the year, Aurora Crystals are a new type of crystal that I've been offering my shop this year. Swarovski has discontinued selling their loose stones for jewelry making. So several new vendors have come onto the market to try to replace that niche. And Aurora is one of those companies. And I've been really, really happy with the quality of their stones. They're very sparkly. They come in lots of different shapes and colors, and they're also an affordable price. So these have been just a wonderful addition to my line of collet necklaces that I offer. And today I have got one, two, three, four, five, six new colors of Aurora Crystal collet necklaces. So let's go through them one by one. I have two new colors of my large oval necklaces. The first is this orange topaz, which is a beautiful, rich, deep orange color. It's like if falling autumn leaves and pumpkin spice were crystals <laughs> and sparkly, this is what they would look like. It's just a beautiful, warm color. And these are in my large oval size. And I'm actually going to wear this necklace because it's very beautiful. And I think it goes nicely with my striped shirt. So. <laughs> Next up, we have a new red tone. This is a really deep, rich red. It's a little bit lighter than garnet, but a little bit darker than ruby, so it's sort of somewhere in the middle. And again, it's this beautiful, warm, rich tone. Absolutely gorgeous, super versatile. It's a little bit mysterious. It's very luxurious. It's just a lovely color. And again, this is the large oval size. I have two new colors of my medium oval size, which are 14 by 10. And if you're curious about what these sizes mean, I actually have a whole other video where I talk about the different sizes that are available, so you can check that out if you're more curious about what these are, and you can see the sizes in a little bit more detail. This is a new tone of emerald. I love emerald. This is such a classic color. Very historical, super versatile, beautiful, nice and sparkly. These tones of emerald have a lot of blue in them in particular, so they're a really lively color despite being dark. A lot of times with emeralds, they're so dark that you almost can't see the green, but that's not an issue here at all. These are super sparkly and very vibrant. The next we have a beautiful, rich, deep fuchsia pink color. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a really unique tone because it's just such a rich, beautiful, dark pink color. The beautiful, deep pink tones really come through beautifully on these. And it's a nice moderate size as well. And then I have two new necklaces that are in the medium octagon shape. This is a beautiful Indian sapphire, which is a color that I have become so obsessed with. You probably have noticed that I've released a lot of styles in this color lately because it's just one of my favorite stones I've ever come across. It's such a beautiful, unique tone of a rich gray blue with a ton of depth and visual interest, and it's just such a unique tone. And this is one of those colors that's like a neutral. It'll match just about everything, and it's really pretty. So now it's available in this medium octagon size. And then finally, in the new collet necklaces, I have a medium octagon in this beautiful, rich, deep purple color. This is almost more of a violet purple. It's got a lot of blue in it, and it's really beautiful. And again, like with the emerald, sometimes dark purples are so dark that they almost come across as black and you don't get that rich color, but that's not the case with these at all. They really put out a lot of purple, and they're really beautiful. Now, of course, these necklaces are beautiful on their own, but they also go together to make just glorious stacks of color. So if you want a really impactful very sparkly style. You could layer two or three of these necklaces together and they look really lovely. I intentionally chose pieces that I thought would go well together if you wanted to mix and match for a more bold collection of necklaces. Next for necklaces, I have a piece that's not new, but one that I think works really well for the season. 
And this is my Renaissance chain necklace. This is a piece from Museum Reproductions, which is one of my lines that's created by another company, but they replicate pieces that are in museums. These beautiful, rich, deep, big, bold links make for an incredibly beautiful necklace. This looks so good with like sweaters and turtlenecks too because it's kind of chunky. So it won't get hidden among cool weather clothing. This is available in both a short 16 inch length, which is a choker length, and a longer 20 inch length, which will hang a little bit lower. So whatever style works best for you. These are limited. I bought out the very last of the stock that this company had of these. So if you're interested in these, I recommend grabbing one while you can because they cannot be restocked, unfortunately. Also from Museum Reproductions, I have two brooches. Again, these are not new, but I think they're just really nice for this season. The first one is this beautiful black onyx and gold plated brooch. These are real onyx gemstones and they're quite large. And this design is based off an ancient piece of jewelry that they have turned into a brooch. This is a lovely big bold size so it's really pretty. It has really pretty detailed golden tone design around the onyx which makes for a really pretty contrast as well. And next up, because in the US we vote in November, I have the super fun Votes for Women banner brooch. This is based off of a piece in the New York Historical Society and makes for a really fun piece of jewelry to wear with your suffragist costumes or just every day if you wanna support voter rights. I love this little brooch. It's so much fun. Also in this collection, I have three new rings that I am releasing. And these are available in the colors of green tourmaline, garnet, or Colorado Topaz, which is a rich, warm, brown color. These are all made with vintage Swarovski stones and are limited edition. These are adjustable rings, so they'll fit a lot of different finger sizes. These are set in beautiful, detailed crown settings, which is just a lovely contrast between the stone and the really elaborate filigree setting that's around them. All right, let's take a look at some earrings, shall we? First of all, I have matching earrings for all of these new collet necklaces. So if you like these new color stones, but maybe aren't committed to a full collet necklace of them, all of these are available as earrings too. So I have them in the orange topaz, that beautiful, rich, deep red, the Indian sapphire, the violet purple, the emerald green, and the fuchsia pink. These make for wonderful little bits of sparkle to add to everyday outfits or of course with your historical wear. I always love wearing big rhinestone earrings. I always get so many compliments. <laughs> Just always nice to hear. Another new item in sparkly earrings are these new earrings made with vintage Swarovski crystals in a beautiful tone of yellow topaz. These are a really unique color. They have this warmth to them that's very autumnal, but they're still bright and really vibrant. And I also have them set in a brand new style of setting that I'm testing out that look really similar to original Georgian settings. And I'm really happy with how these look. So I think you'll see this setting in more of my pieces coming in the future, but this is our first opportunity to use them here. And these are great. They have such beautiful sparkle and a really wonderful color to them as well. Next up, we have more vintage Swarovski stones. These are in a beautiful, rich purple color and they're super sparkly. The fastening on these is really incredible and they just put out a ton of light. And these are in a medium round size, which is a great versatile size. They're super sparkly, but they're not super big as well. So they can work for a lot of different things. These are limited edition vintage stones. So I only have about a dozen of these. Finally, in sparkly earrings, we have these garnet cluster earrings. Cluster earrings like this were really popular, especially in the 18th century, and I love them in the garnet tone, which was a popular stone in the 18th century as well. These are a really lovely, subtle stone that still have a lot of sparkle, but they're not quite as sparkly as like a clear crystal would be, but they're this lovely, rich, deep red garnet color, and they are super fun. Now these are sort of sparkly and sort of not. <laughs> These are earrings that are made with genuine onyx stones, and they're really interesting because they're faceted on the top in a style called rose cut, which is an old fashioned style of faceting, but it makes for really beautiful sparkle and light reflection. And because onyx is such a shiny stone on its own, adding the facets to it gives it a lot of sparkling action. And I love these because they are sparkly, but they're not sparkly. So you sort of have the best of both worlds. They're also a nice big size, so they're really impactful. But again, you have that subtlety of them not being crystal stones. 
Next up, we have these beautiful earrings that are made with vintage glass German stones. These are a really unique stone because they're sort of like a cameo, but they're not a figural image. And they're sort of like an intaglio, but they are a beautiful combination of black glass with gold painting on the inside of the design. They're a medium oval size, so they're pretty subtle, but they really pack a lot of punch because you get that beautiful contrast between the gold and the black, and they're really eye-catching. These would be especially great for Victorian wear. Again, in black and gold, we have these little dangle earrings that feature filigree on both the top and the bottom, just to give them a little bit of extra something. I really like these because they have so much dance and movement and dangle to them. So even though they're really simple earrings of just, you know, a black bead and some gold filigree, they really have a lot of visual interest to them. And they're fun to wear. <laughs> Next up, we have these really fun, big, bold, golden dangle earrings. I sort of love these beads. These are vintage gold-plated acrylic beads. They kind of look like pumpkins to me. They have that really cool fluting to them. And because they're acrylic, they're nice and lightweight despite their large size, and the gold plating on them makes them really shiny. And as you can see, <laughs> these really dance around and dangle a lot as well. They're really fun to wear. This is actually my pair that I made for myself, so I'm gonna put these on. There, <laughs> lots of fun. Next up, we have some earrings that are not new. These have been in my shop for a while, but I think they're really nice for this time of year. These are uh, classic teardrop pearls that are in a beautiful shade of bisque, which is sort of this warm pinkish tone. This is a really beautiful color of pearl. It looks so great with fall and autumnal colors because you have that warmth to them, but they're also incredibly versatile and super classic. These are made with shell pearls, which are pearls that are made from the nacre of shells. So you get all that beautiful pearlescent sheen, but these are much cheaper than real pearls would be. I also just love the chubby shape of them. I just think they're so cute. And these work for every single historical period that you can think of. People have been wearing pearls as jewelry since they started wearing jewelry. And of course, these make wonderful everyday versatile earrings as well. Next up, we have another pair of earrings that are not new, but I think work really nicely for this time of year. And these are just classic, simple earrings made with red jasper gemstones. So these have a really rich, deep, almost cinnamon red to them. They're a really beautiful color. And they're nice and simple, a nice medium size, and these are great for both historical and everyday wear as well. These stones have a beautiful shine to them, so even though they're not faceted, they still catch the light and add some sparkle and shine to your jewelry. This is a new style made with these beautiful vintage pearl clusters that I found. So I'm not sure what these were originally meant to be used for because they're not beads. <laughs> so they're sort of a mystery, but they make for really beautiful, interesting, unusual pearl cluster earrings. Pearl clusters have, of course, been really popular, and these are really beautiful with their sort of knot motif that they have on them. They're quite beautiful. And I just love the style of these earrings. And then we're gonna finish up with two new pairs of cameo earrings. These are a really unusual vintage tortoiseshell style earring. They're made with glass, not real tortoiseshell, of course, but they have this really unique combination of dark and light brown. These don't photograph really well, so they don't look that impressive on film, I know, but in real life, these are really beautiful. The difference in the tones of the browns makes the relief really stand out beautifully and they catch the light in such a unique way. And these are cool too because these are uh, vintage handmade glass stones, so each one is a little bit different and they have a lot of visual interest to them. And this color of brown is just really beautiful for fall, very warm. And then finally we have what I think is actually my favorite piece in this whole collection, and that's these new cameo earrings that I have. These are not strictly historical because I've never seen this combination of colors and historical pieces, but I just could not resist this beautiful combination of acid green and black cameo. And they have this iridescence to them, so they catch the light and shine and this wonderful witchy, inviting way, and they're absolutely delightful and really fun. They're my large oval size, and they're really delightful. I just could not resist these stones when I saw them, and I have a feeling you won't be able to either. They're really fun, they're very Halloween-y and sort of spooky and mysterious, and I just really love them. I hope you've enjoyed the pieces in this new autumn collection, and I hope you see something that sparks your interest. 
Again, you can find all these pieces on my website at damsalamo.com, which I will of course link to down below. And I hope you have a very sparkly autumn. Take care. Bye-bye.